Well, every now and then you get a horrible reminder of why you no longer watch the ABC. This week I had the misfortune of watching the 7.30 program so that you don't have to. You can thank me later. Host Sarah Ferguson went digging for dirt on Donald Trump. She interviewed Trump's former communications director, Anthony Scaramucci, who lasted just 11 days in the job before being fired. Seriously, is that the best they could come up with? Anyway, in a nine-minute interview, that's almost a full minute for every day Scaramucci actually worked for Trump, one and a half minutes was spent on this topic. Does Trump really wear a girdle? Hang on, sorry. Rewind the tape and say that again. Does Trump really wear a girdle? Now, maybe it's just me, but for a billion dollars a year, I'm expecting better US election analysis than questions about Trump's underwear. Can you imagine the outrage if a reporter asked about special underwear worn by Kamala Harris? Anyway, having inflicted the question on you, I'm going to go full ABC and inflict the answer on you as well. On certain days, yes. Mm -hmm. What's that about? Yeah. He's a, you know, he's an image-oriented guy. He's a television entertainer. He doesn't hates taking pictures of him from the side because he just looks too fat from the side. He likes to take pictures head on. Donald Trump is self-conscious about his weight. I'm not sure he's Robinson Crusoe on that one, but there's more. Uh, he spends a lot of time in his hair. It's like a sort of a weave thing that he does up there. Trump also spends time on his hair. Now, some of us wish we needed to spend more time on our hair. But it raises the question, with all that fussing about with his hair, would he even have time to close the border, sort out the economy or deal with Putin? But let's not bother ourselves with those puerile topics. We're talking about the future of the free world. He's got a certain orange war paint that he wears. He's got two-inch heels, uh, lifts in his shoes, even though he's a reasonably tall person. Um, there's insecurity there. You know, there's the hyper masculinity is a tell for how insecure the guy actually is. And Wait, so Trump wears heels, but he's not a Democrat. Or maybe the two inch heels are why some believe Trump will destabilize the world order. As for hyper masculinity, well, some masculinity wouldn't go astray in the West right now. But if the hyper masculinity is a tell for how insecure Trump is, the puerile commentary by Scaramucci is a tell for why he lasted only 11 days in his job. Wasn't much of an insight into Trump, but a definite insight into his former communications director and a reminder of what you and I get for a lazy $1.1 billion a year on our ABC.